some girls will say, well, can you control your temper? And a lot of these guys that are punching holes in the wall, they'll say, yes, I can control my temper. Okay. I mean, anyone can say that, <laughs> right? So that's why shit test, the concept exists in the first place because girls are physically way smaller than men. So they're like, okay, well, of course he's going to tell me he can. Let me just do a little test to see if he really can. And so if you can kind of logically understand this, uh, hopefully people don't personalize shit tests too much. This is actually a clue that she's seeing you as a potential mate. She just wants to see how you can control your emotions. But the red flag definitely, man, is that a lot of men are really boys and they haven't grown up. Mm. You can't I use anger. You. Mm -hmm. you can use anger, but you don't want to do it in a way where you're just breaking shit. You should be a real man can use anger to build, not to break. Uh, do you have any any red flags? Not for yourself, but with others? Guys? With guys, I do. I think the biggest red flag is a lack of ambition. But <laughs> when, once again, it's hard to say if it's a red flag or just a personality trait. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people are just born more ambitious than others, I would say. But I, I can tell you one test. It's a shit test now that you mentioned shit test that there's a guy on Twitter called tell your son this. Have you heard of him? Illimitable man. Mm -hmm. And he published an audiobook with my publishing company, strong and publishing. And we were just talking and he told me about a shit test that works well for him. And the idea is this, what you want to test for is how the girl behaves when she is angry or when you are wrong and you are being angry with her and you want to find out her reaction to that because a lot of people are normal but when they get angry they tend to explode or they tend to you know when you have a small thing to be angry about but you'd make it a big deal and you ruin someone's day like that mm -hmm. so a little like that you know where they have no control over how far they're making you know make a hill out of a mole or something like that and the test is that you want to start a false argument where you're clearly in the wrong and she's clearly right, but you're being very angry and you want to see how she reacts. Okay. So a healthy girl will explain her case like, okay, wait, why are you being angry? This and this happened. But if you don't calm down, you keep getting angrier and angrier. A healthy, intelligent girl will apologize and make you calm down. A red flag is when she starts getting angry herself and it becomes a screaming match. Okay. But you were initially in the wrong and you're trying to see if she's going to remain grounded, right? Exactly. I'll give you an example of this. Mm -hmm. For example, there was a girl who, I'm not, who I wasn't dating back then, but some of my friends thought that I was dating her. So they would not talk to her. In the sense, they would not interact with her much because they're like, this is Harsha's girl, so we should not get close to her. And because I wasn't dating her, she was just a friend back then. And she, she would be like, why do none of your friends talk to me? And I told her, like, they don't talk to you because they think we're dating. So she's like, can you tell them that we're not dating? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you know, when we go out, it's four of us and none of them talk to me except for you. And that's when I ran this test on her and what I'm like, I pretended to be angry. So what do you mean? Like, do you like my friends? <laughs> if you like someone, I just like, just let me know. And I pretended to be like angry. Right. And at first she tried to explain herself. She's like, no, 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 this is not what I meant. I just meant, you know, they're not interacting with me. And then I pushed it. I got like a little angry at her, like, you know, being a bit aggressive, like, hey, what, you know, we can't be friends anymore. This is such bullshit. How can you say this? And then she starts apologizing. And that's a healthy response, you know, for, from a girl's perspective. She's trying okay. to apologize, calm my emotions down and normalize the situation. Be like, okay, okay, it's my fault. Relax. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Mm -hmm. Because a girl who's smart and she's being faced by unrestrained anger is going to first calm you down. And then most guys eventually a day or two later are going to be like, hey, I think I was being unreasonable. And they're going to apologize anyway. Yes. I don't know. I, something about that, sure. that I get it. I get the whole logic behind it. But to me, that's a very, that's not a smart thing to do. Just to, uh, I, I get your rationale behind it though, because you are right. A lot of girls will try to calm the situation down and be like, um, hey, let's cool off. But putting yourself in a position like this, I think there's different ways to 
measure it because these these are one of those situations where it could definitely be a dynamite. And she's like, man, this is a feminine dude right here. It might, it might. So, of course, you can't just do it out of the blue. She has to know that you're not feminine. Mm -hmm. But you have to present it such that you believe you're completely in the right. Where, you know, it, it can't be something very transparent where you're just actually bullshitting. There has to be some kind of, you know, presumption that you actually believe what you're saying. Right. And I do think that it's a reasonable test to make once with a girl. At least once you should do this. Once, yeah. Uh, I could see a case being made for that, but just play devil's advocate. I, I wouldn't recommend that. The, it, it is interesting, though, to hear different shit tests from the guy's aspect because I've always heard of shit tests that girls do on guys. I never heard of a guy saying he's done a shit test on a girl. There's a lot of tests you can do to a girl. Like Some are reasonable, some are a little kooky, but... Man, you know what the ultimate shit test is? No one talks about it. Titanic, bro. I told you about this, right? I don't remember, but I remember you talking about it. Yeah, it's like if anyone's watched Titanic, you ask the girl, hey, is Rose a g g wifey material or is she a hoe? And if she says, oh, no, no, what Rose did was completely right, watch out. That could be a red flag. Because Rose, if you really watch Titanic as an adult, she betrayed that guy that was Cal. Cal is her husband. He's paying for her, her and her family. He's supporting their lifestyle. And Rose is over here cheating on Cal with a guy. So if you watch it as an adult, it's like any reasonable person will say, nah, man, Rose is a hoe. Um, so if the girl is caping very hard for Rose, beware. Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. I had not heard of that. Yeah. I told my brother to try it. I was like, hey, try it on, on uh, you know, your wife. See what she says. And immediately she passed with flying colors. She's like, I can't believe Rose would cheat on her husband on a cruise that he paid for. I'm like, to my brother, you got to <laughs> <laughs> But, but, but um, discretion is advised because a lot of folks, they just like the movie Titanic so much that it's not, uh, they're not going to analytically think this through. They're just going to be like, no, 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 I like Rose a lot. And they'll just cape for Rose regardless. So don't divorce your wife just because <laughs> she didn't call out Rose. Uh, I, I just thought that was a funny shit test. You know, one more shit test. It's not exactly uh -huh. a shit test, but this is more relevant for Western people because the girls date a lot. If a girl says, you know, my ex-boyfriend was toxic or the guy before that was toxic and seems like every guy she's gone out with is toxic, mm -hmm. you're next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this isn't just with girls. It's with life in general. If you see an account consistently start stirring up drama with other people, it's eventually going to happen to you. A hundred percent, yes. So that's something to keep in mind, by the way. People's personalities don't just change because it's you. 